Welcome to the Progressive Automation's product overview videos. Today, we will be going over the PA18 Linear Track Actuator. We are using a PA18-6-150 for today's demo. The PA18 has an overall length of 8.51 inches, plus the stroke size. When it's activated, the carriage travels up and down the stroke, so the overall size doesn't change. The stroke sizes in stock range from 2 to 60 inches. The PA-18 has two main models, one with 150 pounds of force that travels at 1.5 inches per second, and the other has 900 pounds of force and travels at 0.25 inches per second. They both consume up to 8 amps at full load. The PA-18 has an IP rating of 5.4, which gives it limited protection against dust and protects it from gentle splashes of water. The PA-18 uses the mounting brackets BRK-19 and the BRK-01. The BRK-19 mounts on the carriage using the three screws that are included with the actuator. The other one is for mounting on the other side of the carriage. The two included screws are for mounting on the stroke end of the actuator. You can use this to mount your application for securing the actuator. And then the BRK-01 attaches back on the motor side of the actuator. To put it in, you just line up the holes, slide in the included pin, and use the pin, the cotter pin, to hold it in place. This bracket allows the actuator to be mounted over 180 degrees. The PA-18 will work with all of our control boxes except for the PA-39. The PA-18 has no option for potentiometer feedback. The plug on the end is meant for our PA-20, 22, and 24 control boxes. You attach the plug in the one connection spot, the other connection spot is for the hand remote, and then by using the buttons, you can move the actuator forwards and back. The PA-18 comes with many custom options. It can be increased from a 12 volt motor up to 24, 36, or 48 volts. There are four other options for forces. You can get 225 pounds traveling at 1.7 inches per second, 450 pounds traveling at 0.78 inches per second, 675 pounds at 0.39 inches per second, or 1300 pounds traveling at 0.23 inches per second. The mounting holes can be changed to suit your application. Metal gears can be added for increased durability at the higher force ratings. And lastly, feedback can be added in the form of a Hall effect sensor for increased control. All of these options can be found on the product's PDF file found at our website. This has been our product overview of our PA18 Linear Track Actuator. You can find this product and more at our website, www.progressiveautomations.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at one 800 676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com. Links to everything shown in this video are in the description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see our new videos as soon as they are released. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming weeks. This has been a Progressive Automations product overview videos. See you next time.